So you need to know where to start when it comes to building your catalog for TV and film. This is what I would do. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music business, and music production. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content and hit that bell icon so you'll know exactly when that new content drops. So if you're just getting started in production music and the music licensing space, you probably are wondering like, where should I start to start building my catalog to start sending and pitching so that ultimately you can start landing some TV placements. So here are a couple of things that I would do personally to, to get started and, and start building up a decent catalog for your TV and film placements. So the first thing you need to do is ask yourself, and I'm gonna ask myself so you can see what asking yourself actually looks like. What do I do best? I talk to myself a lot, like low key, like I'm not mad at it though, because I hear a lot of geniuses talk to themselves, so yeah. But you need to ask yourself, like what do you do best? What do I do best? What can I do a lot of that I won't get tired of doing? So if there's a particular genre that you love, that you just, you dream about it every night, like whatever that genre is, then start making music within that genre and just start building up what you do best. And then you also wanna do some research and make sure the genre that you do best is something that's needed in the TV and film space, which chances are there's some where for that music to be used. Like rarely have I come across a certain style of music where I'm just like, nah, like this, this is not ever gonna be used. But you just have to do some research. You can use a resource like tunefind.com, which has a bunch of tracks and shows and things that's been used in TV and film. Or if you have a favorite show that you watch and you know they use music that you like to make a lot, that can be a great starting point to start to study songs that work in that, in that show or instrumentals that work in that show. And then try and make original music based around those guidelines. Then from there, honestly, you don't really have to have like a massive catalog of music before you start pitching. Like I feel like a lot of people want things to be in place and they feel like they need to have like 200 beats and songs like ready to go before reaching out. But honestly, when I first started in, in TV and film and started getting placements, my playlist was like five to 10 tracks to start pitching and, and introducing myself to different music libraries. So you don't have to have like a whole bunch of music to get started. And honestly, once you are past that phase of getting accepted to a music library, a lot of times they're gonna send you what they need per brief anyway. So you're gonna end up making music based off the current needs of whichever company you're working with anyway. So don't get caught up on, you know, just having these massive number of tracks. Just make sure you have enough to where they can hear your work, they can hear what you can do, and just make sure that's, that's your best work that you're putting out. You want those, those first three tracks to be um, the dopest tracks you've ever made so they can get a really good idea of what you do best and so they know who to call when they want that kind of music. Also, when you're first reaching out to different music libraries or music supervisors or whichever route you're taking to get your music placed, don't send your entire catalog of music. Like, take it easy on them, take it slow. It's like a relationship. Like, you don't just wanna, you know what I'm saying? Just drop everything in the first night. Like, give them a little bit, a little taste here, a little taste there, and slowly build that relationship to something that, that, that can be great in the long term. There's more from where those first couple tracks came from, and these companies and music supervisors know that. So just start off with a few, you know, tickle their taste buds a little bit, and then slowly, you know, throw some more tracks on them when they're ready for them. And trust me, they will ask you for more if they want more. Like, they know how to get more from you when they need it. Question of the day, how many tracks do you currently have in your catalog right now? 
Is it five? Is it 10? Is it one? Is it zero? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments section below. So hopefully this video helped push you towards getting that catalog together and starting to build up some tracks that you can start sending off to these people and companies to start getting your music placed in TV and film. If you need a free six step guide to help guide you through the process and what that looks like, just click the link in the description and you can go ahead and download that for free. If you thought the video was helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.